In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We continue our celebrations of Christmas Day with this feast of the Holy Family. And we're offering our Mass for the repose of the souls of Patrick and Julie Caroline. Eternal rest from the eternal Lord, and let the of light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord God, the Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who are pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity, and so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in the of you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And our readings come for year B.
was by faith that Abraham obeyed the call to set out for a country that was the inheritance given to him and his descendants, and that he set out without knowing where he was going. It was equally by faith that Sarah, in spite of being past the age, was made able to conceive because she believed that he who had made the promise would be faithful to it. Because of this, they came from one man, and one who was already as good as dead himself, more descendants than could be counted, as many as the stars of heaven or the grains of sand on the seashore. It was by faith that Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac. He offered to sacrifice his only son, even though the promises had been made to him and he had been told, it is through Isaac that your name will be carried on. He was confident that God had the power even to raise the dead. And so, figuratively speaking, he was given back Isaac from the dead. Word of the Lord.
This morning, Bishop Richard has sent a pastoral letter for the Feast of the Holy Family. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this year of 2020 has been a challenging year for us all, and I am very conscious of the many families across the diocese who will have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Perhaps through the loss of a loved one, sickness within the family, the challenges of work and school in these times, and the economic hardship that has been the experience of many during these last months. As we look to the new year, with a good part of the diocese now in tier four measures, perhaps to be joined by other areas in the coming days, we know that many challenges lie ahead. Our Christmas celebrations, both in church and at home, are quieter this year. However, it is never possible to cancel Christmas, for the reality of the Saviour's birth continues to bring light to our hearts, to our homes, and to the whole world. God promises always take us beyond ourselves. God's promises are always fulfilled. We see this in the first reading of today's Mass, in which Abraham, soon to be Abraham, and his wife Sarah become the parents of the chosen people of Israel. In the Gospel, Simeon's longed-for hope is fulfilled as the Holy Family stand before him and he lays eyes on the Saviour. In that one moment, his whole life finds its completion in Christ. So it is with us. God's promise for us is present in Jesus, a promise that is fulfilled in the light and life that he brings to us. Just as Jesus transformed the lives of Mary and Joseph, so the presence of Christ in our own families transforms our lives. If we are open to him, our families will truly become holy families. Our homes will be filled with his light, a light that will shine for the community around us. It is a light that is needed in our world. Society cries out for it, perhaps especially this year, and every family, each one of us, is called to share this light. Mary and Joseph find themselves filled with wonder about all that Simeon says. 
may we all be open to the gift of wonder at the Saviour's birth and in every moment of his life, death and resurrection. Our wonder at the birth of Jesus leads us to reflect on the wonder and mystery of life itself. Pope Francis, reflecting on the crib scene, writes, The birth of a child awakens joy and wonder. It sets before us the great mystery of life. Seeing the bright eyes of a young couple gazing at their newborn child, we understand the feelings of Mary and Joseph as they looked at the infant Jesus and sensed God's presence in their lives. This wonder at the gift of life is at the very heart of our understanding of the human person, the value of life from the moment of conception to natural death. For in life we see the presence of God. As our families, our homes, reflect the light of Christ, the love that is present in the Holy Family, may we bring to our world a renewed appreciation of the gift of life that has been given to us. For in this life we find the wonder and mystery of God himself. May I take this opportunity to assure you and those of your families who are unable to be with you this year, as they would have hoped, of my prayers. May we all experience the light, love and life of this great season of Christmas. With every blessing, Richard, your Bishop. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and St. Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our minds, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, Richard, our Bishop, and all those who handing to the, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Saviour for this world, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Christogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord. 
we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice of spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation of the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share of fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, for whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our God has appeared on earth and lived among us.
Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever, through Christ our Lord. Uh, so once more, wish you a very happy and holy Christmas. As you know, the, it's Christmas Day right up until New Year's Day, uh, and then it's the season of Christmas right up until the baptism of the Lord on the 10th of January. So when you see people posting Christmas is over, how very sad. We've only just begun. Uh, thanks to those who have made our churches look so beautiful. Uh, thanks to those who have added to our liturgy with their voices. Thank you. Um, you can give your weekly collection as you leave as normal. Um, if you haven't given your Christmas offering, there's still an opportunity to do that. You can just place that in the same box. Uh, there's another little basket that's for your crib offerings, which go to uh, the Catholic uh, Children's Society's Emergency uh, Peel. Uh, there's a public mass on Tuesday for uh, the feast of St. Thomas Beckett. And uh, there's uh, going to be uh, little changes from the 1st of January to our public mass times. Uh, we've done our monthly review of stewards uh, for the month and we can't quite sustain nine public masses so we're going to have to roll back just a little bit. So I'll put a note up on uh, the, the website and the Facebook page just once I've figured out which two masses need to go. Um, this nine o'clock mass is safe. You'll still have nine o'clock mass here but it looks like the Saturday vigil will go and it's looking like the Tuesday morning will have to go for January. Uh, and then we'll move forward again as we can. As you know, we can only have Mass if we have stewards. Holy Communion will be distributed after Mass. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy day, Drive far from you the darkness of vice, and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. May God, who wills that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to the shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives, and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you by, with the gift of his peace and favour, and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. If you're coming for Holy Communion, please be seated. And the stewards are just going to take their place to a sister.